Shalom, 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 brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Worshippers Retreat. My name is Rhonda, and I pray you all have had an awesome day wherever you are. Um, so the title of this video is uh, Warehouse of Bombs. I had this uh, dream Tuesday. December the 12th at, and I have it marked down for 10 12 a.m. I know it was uh earlier than that but that's the time I have it um marked down but so it was just a quick dream brothers and sisters where uh I saw this warehouse and in the in the warehouse they had tables and I, I can only see like y'all only allowed me to see a, a limited view of the warehouse and some there was some men and some women but i can only see one row and each row had like what looked like um the old school house desks that had kind of like looked like wood grain on the top and then you know like a uh, metal on the bottom where you're in the opening in the front of the desk where you can stick your work in it was kind of it kind of looked like that and obviously a chair and so i just saw one line row of people sitting down and they were smiling and laughing and what they were making brothers and sisters were bombs they had been hired and some some of them some of them were immigrants brothers and sisters but not all of them so i'm not going to i'm not going to say that i just know some of them were foreigners and they were in this warehouse making bombs. And right before I came out of the dream, um, I heard a voice say, well, I, it, and here's the thing. It was coming from the lady, but it didn't sound like a female voice. Like the voice was deep um, and it sounded evil. And it said, I can't, I can't wait to blow up humans. And then I woke up uh from the dream and i i know that y'all has told me in the past that there will be attacks on america um brothers and sisters and you know from what i saw in the the dream like these like i said these people were hired to make bombs um they're gonna be like uh you know like different different um events that happen and you know some people unfortunately brothers and sisters will lose their lives that's why i'm always telling you guys to pray before you go anywhere where pray um actually I, should i go to this place today you know should i show up here today should i go to church today should i go to work today brothers and sisters yeah it's, it's that serious Time is time is of the essence and time is time to wake up from your slumber. Stop. I know I would love to be able to come and be like other uh, people and just be like, oh, today is sunny. And, you know, I have my life planned out for 10 years from now. And I plan on go going um on a cruise in, in Cancun, Mexico. And, you know, I'm just... Life's just going to be good. No, 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 brothers and sisters. No. No. When y'all has me to encourage y'all, I will bring encouragement. But I still have to say what y'all gives me to say. We have to wake up. Like, we, we really, we really have to wake up. And unfortunately, it's like people are in a slumber. Even when when he had me warning people in person people i can i can see the people don't want to hear it they don't want to hear it and then when destruction comes then then you'll be crying out well y'all why didn't you why didn't you warn me y'all please help me and he gonna he's gonna bring the people that he sent to warn you back to your your mind and you're going to you're going to wish you had listened. 
Some of y'all are listening. I praise y'all for y'all. Keep listening. Keep listening to y'all. And those he's sending to warn. Because he's talking to a lot of y'all too. And telling y'all, you know, what the things that are are come are coming. And some people are like, oh, well, it hasn't happened yet. So the whole purpose of prophecy is to warn you or to say what y'all says before it happens, brothers and sisters. And sometimes y'all tells us stuff that has happened in the past that we weren't aware of. So you want, you, you want, if he's, 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 if he's telling you, you know, just be mindful of this before it happens. He said, warn it comes before destruction. You mean to tell me that like, if you, if somebody's going to bomb a place up and you're scheduled to go to that place or be somewhere in the vicinity that you wouldn't want to know beforehand. Yeah, I don't know. (laughs) I don't know. Everything that y'all says about us as a people is true. It's true. Stop. Like, it's true. Instead of thanking y'all for sending warning out of love, regardless of whoever he sends it through to, you know, people like, oh, well, nothing is encouraging. Or do you guys realize that we are living out the book of Revelation? Do you, you, do you realize that we are in the last days? We've been hearing this for years and, 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 and for some of y'all, it's very, it's hard to believe that we're actually in those times. Y'all we're in those times. And if I could shake some of y'all, I would, I would. The things I get on social media, I get on this app right here, brothers and sisters, and y'all tell me to get right back off because when you, when he has you speaking on certain things, other opinions are really not needed because people, one thing people always do to the people that are actually awoke is to try to make them feel like they're crazy. They actually call some of us crazy. And it's, can I just be honest? It's not really even a world. It's mainly other believers that are supposed to be getting the same warnings or similar. And it's, it's amazing to me. And when I say amazing, not in a good way, but then I, y'all does not lie. His word does not lie. All of this stuff is in the scriptures. The spiritual blindness, what he is in the scriptures. He even said that the the, the uh, children of the world are wiser than children of the kingdom. He did not lie. When y'all sends me to warn people in the world that don't even profess to have a relationship with him, these people are already on it. They thank me. And they tell me, hey, that's a confirmation, you know, that's confirmation. They already know about it, brothers and sisters. But when you have, when you go talk to a lot of people um, that are supposed to be blood washed believers, that's supposed to be his sheep and hear from him. Cause he said, my sheep know my voice. They, 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 they uh, push this to the side. Like it's, it's hogwash. Like, oh, you, you watch, like some, I had somebody comment on, um, one of my videos and it didn't bother me. Cause I, I'm just like, child, uh, you watch too much TV and here's the thing. I don't watch TV. So there's that. There's that. <laughs> so it's, it's just, I understand. I understand now why. Yeshua Hamashiach, he said, if the world hates you, remember that they hated me first. Woe unto you, woe unto you when, when men shall speak well of you for so they did the false prophets. You know? So it comes with the territory. So that's why 
My goal is to say and speak what y'all gives me to say and get right back off social media. Do I look at like, I like looking at farming videos and stuff to help me prepare. I, I like looking at uh, those type of videos, but, um, you know, too many people, other, no, no, no. Cause this, this, this phone and, and these social media accounts can, can take your attention away. And we don't have that much time as it is brothers and sisters. You need to be able to hear from y'all. So that's all I have to say. Attacks are coming to America. I've, I've had other dreams where y'all has shown me, uh, I guess fighter jets in the sky dropping bombs and on on cities and stuff and i saw buildings crumbling on fire i've i've seen the whole i was on the east coast looking and i could see across the country like an aerial view and i saw um the whole Midwest and West in flames. It's going to happen on the East Coast too, but that's what I saw in that particular uh, vision. So, again, the objective is not fear. It's preparation. It's preparation, brothers and sisters. If you prepare spiritually... Y'all go and you go to y'all, he'll tell you how to prepare physically too. I'm not saying that these things won't frighten, won't be, uh, you make us a little fearful, but y'all knowing that y'all is with you and st building up your faith because you're gonna need faith for the end times, you need faith for right now. That's what's gonna help you get through it. So, God bless.